Hello. Hello. Hey. And welcome to another extraordinary night at the Velvet Night! The Velvet Notes, a place where you can see and hear world-class musicians in a setting that's as intimate and as comfortable as your living room. We give you a chance to get to know each other and also to get to know the musicians. And um, we've been here almost nine years now. We're very happy about that. Um, we have a really, really cool night tonight, and I'm very excited. Uh, before I get into that though, if you're watching us live on Facebook or YouTube, I just want you to know that we are appreciative and we're honored to stream from our living room to yours. The way that we're able to do that is through your donation. So we ask you to go to thevelvetnote.com forward slash donate. Thevelvetnote.com forward slash donate and show a little love to the club and to the musicians. That helps us to continue to stream uh, to you directly and without charging a fee, and we want to keep doing that. So it's thevelvetnode.com forward slash donate. So Clarence Hill the yeah. Third, Clarence Hill the um, Third, first came to our attention when he walked in with his band, the Four Corners, to one of our open mic jam sessions. Now I just want you to know that Clarence Hill coming into an open mic jam is like a unicorn walking into McDonald's. It's like, wow, how did that happen? He took the stage and I am telling you, he knocked us all out. And ever since then, we've had a lot of love for Clarence Hill III. As I mentioned, he's part of the acclaimed jazz fusion band, The Four Corners, and they've played here many times, but also all over the world. And tonight, Clarence is doing his own thing with a killer band, including Joelle Powell on bass, and Louis Dix Newsom on drums, and Mr. Ron James on saxophone. Yeah. Oh, we have some Ron James fans out here? Really? All right, thank you, because I haven't seen Ron James in a long time, so we are happy to have him, and we're glad that you're getting in on this as well. Anyway, I just want you to know that uh, we take pride here at the Velvet Note in um, being a place where people can launch a, a solo career. We've done that for lots of musicians, including uh, Jameson Ross and uh, tons of them, and this is uh, Clarence's first show here under his own uh, headline, and we're very pleased to have him. I will not be enjoying the show with you out here because I will be back in the kitchen cooking your dinner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So don't let me be lonely tonight. Please see your servers. They would love to show you what we have on the menu, and I would love to cook for you. I need you to clap like it's a Saturday night. Put your hands together for the Clarence Hill, the third quartet! I know it's not a lot of people in here, but we don't have to be this quiet. How are y'all doing tonight? Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm so glad to be here. This is my first time doing my own show. Yeah. I'm normally with my band before coming. But uh, this is exciting. This is a night of 
fun and experimentation, and we just gonna have a good time. So y'all, catch the vibe with us.
song was entitled Gentle Thoughts, and it is by one of my um, secret mentees. He, does, he doesn't know me, but I know him very well. His name's Herbie Hancock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's a huge influence, along with Chick Corea and so many other of the greats. But I wanted to definitely take this night to play some songs that I don't normally hear out when, you know, when I'm playing gigs, when I'm checking out some of my other peers and they're playing, like, Songs that I don't hear a lot. And um, that was one of them. So, General Calls, Herbie Hancock. Um, let's see. Oh, this is another one of my favorites. This next one is another one of mine. It's a standard, but it's one that I've always loved. It's entitled Body and Soul.
His main instrument was bass. I guess his second instrument would be keys, and his third instrument was drums. I took to drums at a very early age. I took to drums at the age of two, and um, I played uh, in the, my grandparents' quartet, gospel quartet. And at about 15, I gained an interest for organ and piano, started playing in church, and um, the rest is history. I played with 
quite a few celebrities, got many opportunities across my career. And, um, but there's nothing like being able to freely express myself like this. So thank you guys for coming out. Thank you for supporting and I hope that you're enjoying what you're hearing so far. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Oh. So this song is a song that I initially heard by Oscar Peterson. And I wanted to do something that would just kind of speak to what's going on right now in our society. You know, this, this racism is crazy, I, I, you know. We've had a lot of things. 2020 has been a crazy year for all of us, I'm sure. Um, but the one thing that we need, and more than ever right now, is, is unity. And um, this song is called Hymn to Freedom. It just always touches me when I hear it, and so I wanted to play it tonight. I hope you guys enjoy it.
something that we all deserve yeah. is freedom. Yes, we are humans. We are not a race. Let's not be a race anymore. Hmm. Yeah. Let's be humans. There's good, there's bad. Yeah. Everywhere, yeah. in every race, yeah. there is good and there is bad. Yeah. We have a choice to make to be on the good side. Him of freedom. Yeah. Okay. Another one of my favorites by the infamous Herbie Hancock. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure y'all probably already know this, but I'm not even gonna tell you the name of it. I'm just, we're just gonna start playing.
seasons for me to stretch myself and do something a little bit different. Um, this song I first heard with Chick Corea and Bobby McFerrin, and um, I've loved it ever since. This is Blue Bossa.
Yeah. I think that we have time for one more. No. <laughs> so, I've already played some things from my first uh, mentee, Herbie Hancock. This last song I'm gonna do is by another one of my favorites. His name is Chick Corea. This is entitled Spain. First of all, thank you again for coming out. Give yourselves a hand for coming out. Stay safe out here. It's crazy out here right now. Stay safe, please. And I hope to see you guys again. Thank you. 
that's Clarence Hill the third live at the Valdez Note! Oh my goodness! Thank you for joining us tonight. We loved having you. And we'd love to have you again. Oh my god, I love that song so much I can hardly speak. <laughs> you can find all of our upcoming shows at thevelvetnote.com, including our Valentine's Weekend Extravaganza that begins on Friday night, the 12th, goes to Saturday, and then slides into home base on Sunday. I know you know something about sliding into home base. Can we get a witness here? <laughs> TheVelvetNote.com This is what we love to do, which is to bring you closer to artists who inspire you, closer to each other, and closer to the song that's in your heart. Come back and see us again soon. Good night.
My assistant told me that you're on your third serving of french fries, is that correct? The pound cake is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all hear that? The pound cake is amazing. It's a surprise. Hello, lovey. I haven't seen you for a while. It's good to see you. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to another extraordinary night at the Velvet Nest. The Velvet Notes is a place where you can see and hear world-class musicians in a setting that's as intimate and as comfortable as your living room. We give you a chance to get to know the musicians here and also to hear the music the way that it was meant to be heard. We're a listening room. We had our acoustics designed by a protege of the Hollywood director, George Lucas, under his guidance to be the highest quality, unenhanced sound available today. We have been here for almost nine years now. Yeah. Thank you. And um, according to Downbeat Magazine, for the fifth consecutive year, we're one of the top 100 jazz clubs in the world. So. All right. If you're joining us live on Facebook or YouTube, thank you so much for allowing us to stream from our living room to yours. We would love it if you would show some love to the club and to the band, and you can do that by going to thevelvetnote.com forward slash donate. That's thevelvetnote.com forward slash donate. And that helps us to you know, make sure that we're around and that we can continue streaming to you wherever you are. So I was telling the first group, you know, we have this jam session every Thursday night, and um, it's kind of like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. And sometimes you have people who are really, really good. And sometimes you don't. But uh, one night, Clarence Hill III walked in with his group, The Four Corners, with this gentleman with him, Mr. Sullivan. And uh, they absolutely blew us away. I mean, like, I couldn't believe I was here. And ever since then, we've been absolutely in love with the Four Corners. And we've gotten to know Clarence. And um, this is uh, a show that I think is long overdue, where he gets a chance to perform independently and just do what he wants to do and bring his band with him to do that. Um, I also understand that um, a man that I've been looking for for many years is in this audience, and that is Clarence Hill the Second. Yeah. <laughs> Ow! Right? Okay. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. So Clarence is a, a, not only a great uh, pianist and a keyboardist, but uh, also a recording artist with his group, and tonight he's leading this band. And this band is comprised of Joelle Powell on bass, and he has Louis Styx Newsom on drums, and he has Ron James on saxophone. I thought Ron must have joined Space Force or something. I hadn't seen Ron in a dog's age. And then he just showed up, and he is so silky smooth and wonderful. We're so happy to have him. So all together, it's the Clarence Hill III Quartet. And I need you guys to applaud as if you are applauding at the Super Bowl, which I understand will happen soon. I don't know the date, because I don't care. But I need you to put on your applause. Can you do it? Yeah. Okay? Okay. Put your hands together for Clarence Hill the third of the Clarence Hill Quartet. How's everybody doing today? Yeah. We had 
a great first show. Yes. And um, I'm so excited to do it again. I'm glad to see everybody out today. Thank you for coming. This is my first time. I'll give my spill again. This is my first time doing a jazz solo show, trio. Um, I'm normally with my band, The Four Corners. It's a jazz fusion band. And we've been together since, I think, what, well, actually, we've been together since, well, early 2000s. Like. And our drummer is here today, the phenomenal J-Rod Sullivan. If y'all don't know this guy, better put him on Front Street. One of the most famous drummers in the world. Yes, he's my friend. Yes, I'm bragging about it. I also have my family here, which means absolutely the world to me. The man responsible for my birth. The man responsible for the reason why I'm sitting behind these keys right here. Clarence Hill II. Hey. Give him a hand, please. I would not be who I am if it was not for him. We're gonna get this started. This is the first song. This thing you're cutting off. Excuse me. This first song is by one of my favorites, Herbie Hancock. It's entitled Gentle Thoughts.
Thank you. That was Gentle Thoughts. This next one we're going to do is by one of my favorites, Herbie Hancock. By far one of the greatest ever to do it. So this next one is going to is, is called Butterfly by Herbie. Let's do it. Thank you. 
Butterflies, 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 butterflies. You know what? I want to take a little small minute to tell a little bit of my story. A miracle that happened. <laughs> when I was 10 years old, my brother, my brother's here tonight, Brian. Myself and my brother didn't know how to swim, but we didn't know any better. And uh, we were allowed to go swim with some family and just decided that we wanted to just jump in the pool. Our first experience, not understanding the danger of what we were doing. And we ended up laying at the bottom of the pool for 10 minutes, dead. Lungs filled with water, brain filled with water, lips purple. He pulled us out, took us to Scottish Rite. We were there, I think, two, two weeks, three weeks? Two weeks. Two weeks, the doctor said, they told our parents, if we made it, we would be vegetables, unable to take care of ourselves in society. Um, needless to say, that was not the case because of the God that we serve. He's always right there, but it let me know that there was a reason for my life. And ever since then, I've been chasing my purpose. And um, I'm so thankful for parents that prayed and believed and brought us out of that situation. We walked out of that hospital like two kids that nothing ever happened to. And only God can do something like that. And that is the reason why I do what I do right now. And I'm always, the older I get, the more and more I chase whatever that thing is that God places on the inside of me to give to other people. Allow me to be selfless and giving of those gifts, as we all should be when we know that there's something special in us that he has given to us to give to others. I say that to say, if you're not selfless, learn to be. Because we're not here for ourselves. We are actually here for each other. Um, so now, let's see, what do we want to play here? Oh. Yeah, Hymn of Freedom, Hymn to Freedom. This is a song that I heard from Oscar Peterson. And I wanted to do something fitting just to pay homage and tribute to the ones that have come before us and for, in light of what's happening right now in our society. Freedom is a word that is loosely used and it means different things to all of us for different reasons because some of us have limited freedom. Some of us have it all. But we all deserve freedom. And I'm thankful for what is happening right now. And I want to admonish us all to be a part of the change that is happening right now. To become one, to unify, and to not allow society's history to dictate how we continue to move on. So this is him of freedom.
Always got to add just a little bit of church in there, man. Yeah. Back to the roots. Always back to the roots. That's where it started. That's where it started. Okay. Um, this next song, Blue Bossa, by one of my favorites, once again, Chick Korea. Completely changed the way that I think about music when I heard this guy. So, we're going to have some fun with this.
Thank you. 
so much for joining us tonight. We loved having you. And we'd love to have you again. You can find all of our upcoming shows at thevelvetnote.com. Special thanks to Ron James and uh, to Joelle Powell and to Lewis Sticks Newsom and all the great music that we had tonight. And it was a pleasure to meet you, Clarence Hill II. Thank you. Don't be a stranger, okay? All right, it's taken me like five years to get to lay eyes on you. So. Five years, five long years. Welcome. We have a great Valentine's weekend coming up. Uh, we have a great weekend next weekend too, but I know a lot of you will be you know, watching the Super Bowl. Somebody tell me who wins. Somebody tell me who's playing. Uh, and then we have Valentine's Day weekend, so that's a great weekend too. So we'd love to see you. This is what we love to do, which is to bring you closer to artists who inspire you, closer to each other, and closer to the song that's in your heart. Come back and see us again. Good night. <laughs>